If you rent your home and you have indoor cats, you might have a big problem. You want to give them spaces to climb and play and enjoy the space they have, but you can't damage the walls. In short, most catification projects are not available to you, so what do you do? My name is Francisco and on this channel I work with my three cats, Calypso, Skyfall and Mr. Muffin to help you improve the lives of your indoor cats. One of my most popular videos is this um, skyway, this runway I built in my living room for my cats. They run up there, they play, they enjoy themselves, but this is a, not an option that is available to most renters. I have received many comments of renters who saying, well, this is great, but I can't damage the walls. So in this video, I have a DIY solution for many, if not most of you who rent. I wanted to improve the catification of one of my rooms upstairs, but I decided to do it as if I were a renter, as if I could not damage the walls, or if I did, it had to be very, very small. The most important feature was giving my cats the possibility of climbing. Cats love to climb. They love to be up above the ground where they can look down on the rest of us from their secret perch. It's part of their survival instinct. And they will find their own places to climb even if they are not intended for that. But this project could not just be a cat tree. With a cat tree, once they get to the top, there's nowhere else for them to go. The project needed to offer my cats more opportunities to have fun on top of their space. On their runway here, they can go up one end, run across the living room, and come down on the other side. This is great fun for them, especially when they're playing chase. Another requirement was that whatever I put up there had to be very stable. It could not wobble or tip over when the cats were playing up there. I also needed to make this project affordable because many renters are starting out and they don't have a lot of budget to spend on catification. I'm happy to say that this project cost very little. So I needed something that my cats could climb, that they could play on, that would be stable, that would not cause a lot of damage to the walls, and that would cost very little. I decided to start with something I already had, my bookshelves. They offer a great space up there for my cats to sleep and play. And I was just using the top as a rather unsightly storage space. To climb, I decided to give them two ways to get up or down so they could play chase with each other if they wanted to. Now, you don't have to have two access points, but it's a little bit better if you have the room. It's also important to say that my shelves are pretty sturdy. They're made out of solid wood, not particle board. Particle board breaks up very easily and it's difficult to put screws into without having it uh, damaged. First, I got a small piece of remnant carpet from a local restore. Now, shout out to the restores. They are part of Habitat for Humanity and they sell donated items that are remnant and you should check them out if you are not familiar with them. I cut up the carpet to put on top of the shelves to make them more comfortable and so that the cats wouldn't slip. And I also used it to cover the climbing post. To prevent the unraveling, I used a wood burning kit to melt the edges of the carpet. The fumes of most carpeting are highly toxic and smelly, so do not do that inside. I also scored a line on one side so that the carpet would fold easily. And then I was able to screw the carpet to the back of the shelves along with one anchor. Okay, so now might be a good time to discuss anchoring. Any tall shelf should be anchored to the wall, especially if you have children. But if you do it right, it does not have to make a hole much bigger than what you would need to hang a picture. You have to find the stud and then use a small, narrow screw to screw into that stud. Now, when you leave your rental, these holes will need to be spackled and possibly painted depending on the color of the wall. On one end of the bookshelves, I put a cat tree. This is a cat tree I already had, but I thought it would get more use as part of this project. Now, tall cat trees are expensive, and if you don't have one, you don't really need one, but they will make the project a little bit more appealing for the cats. On the other side, I created a climbing post with some shelves. The main post is just a two x four covered with some of the remnant carpet. I glued the carpet to the front of the post and secured it with a power staple gun to the back. The shelves attached to the post were made from a remnant cabinet door and a scrap of wood. I also covered them with little pieces of carpet that I stapled on, but I made sure that the, the staples were not sticking up to avoid having the cats snag their the claws on them. Now these little shelves are really necessary because cats need them to jump down. They're not good at climbing down things because they can't uh, spin their legs around like squirrels can. 
They are especially critical if you're only going to have a climbing post and not a cat tree. One of the shelves also had to be cut in an angle to make sure that the door would open. Now this whole thing is attached to the back of the bookshelves, not to the wall. This avoids making extra holes in the wall. The post rests on the ground so that the attachment does not have to hold it up, just make it stable. This is another reason the bookshelves must be anchored to the wall. Do not skip this step. Now if you want to try a project like this but don't have the tools or the space, you might have to borrow them from friends or maybe family members who do have them. While it's relatively easy as a do-it-yourself project, it still takes time to do all the measuring, to do all the cutting, to put everything together, to take the books out of the bookshelf, to put them back, etc. But you will have a great space for your cats to play, sleep, have fun, with only two small holes to repair when you move out. So this is the finished project. I think it looks pretty good and it cost only about $20 in materials without counting the cat tree. The cats first looked around and sniffed around when they first saw it, but were very quick to see the benefits and start climbing on it and playing. I'm sure your cats will also enjoy it if you can build something like this for them. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.